A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's back to work in the 400 salon. Mm -hmm. Just one thing, explain to everybody why it's the 400 suite. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> Terry will explain everything now. <laughs> yeah, quickly, Pierre. Yeah. I've explained a couple of times. The reason it's called the 400 and it's going to be the 401 suite is because we're having a, a sort of Titanic theme to it. So there's a Titanic and there's the Olympic and then the Britannic, which were three Olympic class liners yeah. by White Star Line. And the numbers are for the yard numbers, keel numbers to identify each ship before it got its name. Mm -hmm. So the theme will be very loose, it's not going to be in your face, you're not going to have like Titanic pictures oh, everywhere God, no, and no, stuff no. like that. It's, just, it's more the decor, not the ship, the decor yeah, so of that era, of that, the, the superior of it and, and everything about that, about, it, yeah. about the Titanic and and the White Star Line and, and everything. So it's not actually just the Titanic, no. it's just the decor. Yes. It's not going to look like a ship. No, so that's, <laughs> that's why we wanted the, the numbers. Um, yeah. So it wasn't in your face because if we called it the Titanic Suite and the Olympic Suite. Yeah. Then it would have been a and bit I think the numbers are really, really nice anyway, because just about everybody goes to, to name the rooms in under, you know, the mm, column whatever. after people or whatever. But yeah. I think like the 400 suite and the 401 suite sounds really, really nice. Yeah, and, you know, to do with the sounds. I, I, I like it very much. Quite elegant. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So the 400 suite that we're working on at the minute, this is going to be based on stuff from the Olympic class liner. Uh huh. So the colour that's going to be on the walls, which we keep on mentioning, which is this green colour. Is going to be taken actually from the RMS Olympic, yeah, which is which very was used, exciting. Yeah, it was used in the grand staircase for the ship when it got refitted and um, for Marvin Art Deco sort of style in around about the 1930s. So we're reproducing that colour to, to paint on the top section of the panelling, mm -hmm. and then the bottom section we'll have back to the natural wood. Yeah, and then it's going to be really sort of like elegant and masculine, yeah, very with nice, like yeah. red velvet. We're going to have green velvet. We're going yeah. to have the dark wood, yeah. um, all very straight lines, yeah. picture lights, stuff like that. So we're not, we're not really going for the, the normal chateau decor, what generally everyone else goes for, the French chateau style. This is really, really, really regal and yeah. nice. We will have different styles, so on one of the rooms we will have more of like a Louis the Yeah, yeah, 15th, yeah, but for this style. one, um, yeah. I think it's going to be absolutely spot on. I'm yeah. loving it. It's just nice that when people come, they can experience different sort of styles in the different suites. Yeah, um, I can't wait. Because the, the sort of styles that we're using for the Olympic, like the 400 one, are going to be slightly different to the 401, which is the Titanic. Yeah. And then ours is the 433, which is the <laughs> Britannic. And that was just sort of a bit of a makeshift. So <laughs> Just a little one. <laughs> yeah, so that's why... Um, like we've just classed ours as that because yeah. it never really went into proper service. Oh so. bless. But <laughs> right, that, come on, let's get with some we'll work on. after yeah. that. <laughs> so it's all explained for you now. <laughs> I won't be doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> so the stage that everyone's been waiting for, the insulation, vapor barrier, bubble wrap, foil stuff is going on the back of the paneling. Uh -huh. All I'm gonna do is staple it on mm -hmm. and put it on the back, get it in place, and that'll be our barrier to stop any mould or any damp getting on yep. the back of the panelling. Yep. So I think we should crack on. Let's get going. Yep.
looking perfect. And there. Put some little feet on. Just need some little shoes. <laughs> but this panel, this these two, well, I wouldn't say there were panels were there when we first come in. No, there, there was, was no just, body, was there? No, all it was was just the top. Just the top, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So to see these on now, yeah, it looks wonderful. Get them in. Yeah. And get the skating board on. So, but yeah, they look fantastic. Yeah, it'll be good. So looking good now. Roll these on. Do the plug holes in? Yeah. I'm going to put the plug so we yeah. can mark that up. So we get that marked up because we're going to get a little... Put down uh, there, will we? Put down there yeah. for a light. Or just for something. anything, really. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to place yeah. it up there. Get yeah, yeah, it'd be easy, easy, won't it? Yeah. We'll get a double fascia plate so we know what size it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And then we can mark off so it's the same distance. Yeah. On the corner. Super. And mm -hmm. we can get that in. Yep. Get the wires round to it. Get this done today. I know. So we've got the corner panels in, which are looking brilliant. It's good to start getting the room back to normal. 
We've got our next big one. This is where we found all the wallpaper. And before we get it up, we need to make a couple of decisions where we are going to be putting the electrical points for you. So we're going to be having the TV on the wall here. Um, we were looking at trying to disguise it behind the panelling, but it's going to be a massive job. And because we've got the pipes there for the radiators, we're going to have to adjust all of that. And it's going to be a bit too much. So we'll just put it on the front and we'll be able to create a frame around it like we did on the third floor, so it's not too noticeable. But we've got a USB and USC socket that we're going to put in. So when guests come, they'll be able to come in and plug their phones or laptops or whatever straight in. So we're just working out where we're putting that one. And then we've got the one which will be for the TV and Amazon stick or whatever like that, that they can plug in. So we're just working all those out, get the holes drilled, we can get them up, and then it's all done. Mm -hmm. The reason that yeah, that one's that far up and that angle, you're not going to see it, it's going to be behind the TV, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't like look at it, oh, it looks pretty weird sat there on the panel. Yeah, you're, you're not going to see it. We're going to have two brackets either side of the panel yeah. uh, to fit the TV on, so you yeah. won't see it. <laughs> Separate the panels here, yeah. Um, and you'll have like your brackets to hold the TV. Yeah. So if we put the socket about there, I know it's at an angle and it looks yeah. a bit strange, but we won't like Mum said, you're not going to see it at all. And yeah. it's going to be disguised behind the TV. So then we can plug the things in and yeah. it'll look like it's just floating there. Yeah, because Terry has a thing about wires yeah. and not liking them. No, I hate seeing, <laughs> hate seeing wires. I don't want the wire dangling down for a plug. Definitely no. not. It's going to spend four days just hiding them. <laughs> but yes, it does, it just, it, it, it all is attention to detail, it all, all works. Yeah, even on the third floor, we don't Absolutely. Have, we've only got a gap that big yeah. from where the bottom of the TV is to yeah. where the cabinet is. But yeah. we went through all this effort so we it could does. just disguise it. And it does work. Yeah, it is, it is worth the effort. Yeah. Absolutely. It's all these little right. details that count. <laughs> Let's see you drill. <laughs> right, we'll get started. Once we drill, there's no going back. Well, no. <laughs> well, I've got plenty of filler. <laughs> no, we could. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to drill a, fill a hole that big. Oh, believe me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get this out because this was from the other one that we've done. Yeah. Yeah, it's superb. You alright? Someone take all the brushes down. Is that sh no? Hello. Hi. Down, then. Hello. But you want a little or a big one? Well, brushes, what pair brushes? Oh. Not pair brushes, yeah, because they need cleaning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think to bring them back up tents. Oh, okay. <laughs> because we're in the middle of work. After we put them away. Did you? Yeah. There's one in the kitchen and there's one in the garage. Oh, in the kitchen sink, I've seen one. Would you like a piece of panelling? <laughs> we're just talking there about the plug, so we're going to put the USB one there and the TV one there. Is that okay? So then the USB will be this bottom corner. Well, is it somewhere sensible and usable? Mm. Yeah, so I've mm. from day one, as long as it's sensible and usable, it doesn't matter where it is. Well, we're going to have like a little console table there. Yeah, so... that'll be along here, yeah. along to the chair rail height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then when you come in, you just be able to plug your phone straight in and leave it on the worktop. Yeah, mm -hmm. which I think super. Be good. It's all planning, 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 planning. It's all coming together. It is. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Are we hole drilled in here? I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'll put some boards underneath as well so I don't go through the park <laughs> First one. There we go. Brilliant. Piece of panelling. If anyone wants a piece of panelling, send, send out. Send us your address. Send us your address <laughs> and you can have a piece of panelling from the 400 suite. <laughs> Get these next ones drilled.
You might be thinking, oh well, how are we going to fit that in two holes? All we do is draw a line, between that one and that one. Draw a line between that one and that one. We'll get the multi-tool, cut them two out. My back box will just go straight in. Fantastic. Good, good. good. panels back on? Yes, and it looks a million times better. It is. To get these panels on in the corner, obviously, mm -hmm. when we got the shower, there was nothing at all here. No. It was just completely rotten. So it's brilliant to get those back on, and um, to get the top ones back on as well. Yeah. All insulated, all behind as well now. Everything all the wiring's so in. Yeah, all the wiring's in and everything already. Really, I mean, it's about, you know, a couple of more big jobs, the ceiling and um, the, window. the window and then... It's getting up the nice bits. Yeah, yeah, all the good bits. Yeah. But but it's brilliant. It is. It's, it's worked yeah. out really well. So now there's a couple of gaps that we can put a little bit of filler in to get yeah. those sorted. Now, now everything's on and we know where everything is. I've done most of it, but now we can get the get rest of it done now, get it all sanded, all cleaned. Yeah. Um, and it looks amazing. I'm pleased with the, these bits. Terry will show you the ones that we put in. Yeah. And the, this is the one Terry um, cut down. Cut down, and they're, they're amazing. Well, once they get a paint on them. Yeah, the style of paneling that we've got in this corner now, we've got like the larger one and the smaller one. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same as what's on that side. Yeah. So we've got the larger one and the smaller one. So it sort of mimics it now. Yeah. Where before it was just one big. It panel. was one big one. It didn't. It didn't fit, did it? Really. No. It always looked a bit odd, to be honest. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's good. It's worked out brilliant. It has, it's worked out well, just because yeah. we've had to piece loads of bits together. <laughs> yeah. The trim, the skirting yeah. board, the actual panels. Yeah. It's all been like... It's all just been mixed up, hasn't it? Yeah. But it, it's worked really, really well looking at it. Um, I just can't wait to see the paint go on it because I know yeah, it's, it's going to look, look absolutely amazing. It is. Once, it's, once we get the first coat of paint, yeah. on, it will transform it. Yeah. So yeah, so it's a good day's work done, getting these in. So we'll go and have a nice gin now. Yeah, we're going to go and sit in the sun because it's actually a bit sunny. It is. And then <laughs> I think we might look at the ceiling tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Yeah, that would be brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Right, see you in a bit. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.